Hello everyone. Now we are going to start to understanding distance time graph for uniform motion for given example. Okay. What question is saying? The following table shows the distance covered by a car in a fixed time interval. See, time interval is given here, fixed beta. Very important to understand the concept. Okay. You have to draw graph of distance against time taken. Okay. Which is nothing but the time. Along the x axis and distance along the y axis, we have to consider. Okay. See here on x axis, we have taken time. So it is called as beta time axis. It is called as what? Time axis. Okay, so I'm writing here x is what it is, time axis. Okay. Understood the time axis, everyone. Do reply. Sir, yes, yes sir. sir. Okay. And y axis. Okay. Y axis is called as distance axis here. Okay. So see, first, whenever we are going to write, you know, uh, the graph, first we have to decide the scale beta, scale. So see, according to the given data, data is given here on a time which is in second, okay, and distance which is in meter. So for first uh, second, will, uh, distance will be zero for 10, 50, then for 20, 30, like this. So here we have the data which is already given. Okay, so see on x axis, we have taken one centimeter. The distance is called beta one centimeter. Okay, so one centimeter equals to we have taken 10 second, right? 10 second. Do reply. Sir, yes, sir. Yes, yeah. so we have to write here, we have to write scale also. In I didn't get your question, sir. Okay, see. Distance from here to here, I'm marking here, is one centimeter actually, right? But equals to one centimeter, we have taken 10 second. Is it or not? Yes. Yeah, we have to mention so, yes, scale. So here it is given in x axis, one centimeter equals to 10 second. Sir, and there 15 meter. Uh, 20. Yes, 20, 20. And yes, on one axis, one centimeter equals to 20 meters. meters. On y axis, one centimeter equals to 20 meter. Understood, everyone? Yes, sir. Full clarity. Okay. Yes, sir. Now, next. Now we have to like point each like coordinate on the graph. See, we have zero and zero. So the point will be on the origin over here. Then we have 10 to 15. So on 10 and 15 is here. So that will be 10 and in between over here. That point will be 15. Is it? Okay. Then we have 20 and 30. So 20 and 30 will come here. Between 20 and 40, we will have 30. Then we have 30 and 45. So here we have 35 and here we have 45, 40 over here. That will be 45. Then next we have 40 and 60. So 40 and 60 will be here. This is 40 and 60. Then we have 50 and 75. So 50 and 75. So it is 70 and 75 will be here. Okay, then we have 60 and 90. So 60 and 90 above 80 over here. Then last but not the least, we have 70 and 105. So 70 and 100 and 5 will be over here. Okay, so now we have to draw a straight line going through all the point. Okay, so I'm just going to draw the straight line from origin here. Uh oh. Yeah. 
line have to start from origin only <laughs> we have to draw another line wait line had to start from origin this is the origin from origin it is not been taken yeah no again not okay so i'm just drawing don't worry so when we will draw the line going from here we will get the straight line beta like this okay we will get the straight line someone is in waiting room wait a second neha okay so this straight line represents what that straight line represents the uniform motion Yes, Understood sir. Everyone? Slope gives speed, sir. 